uh, but the rank and file police officer is very gun. And when it comes to dealing with the problem in the schools, they want teachers, principals, staff uh, uh, to be armed, you know, those who are qualified to be armed. And, uh, you know, sadly, I don't know why the anti-gun left doesn't get that. I mean, they have kids in school, too. Uh, you know, what part about not protecting uh, the children don't they understand? Is there any, any of the things that they're pressing for? I loved, I really enjoyed those on the street videos that you guys have been producing. Yeah, I think what that really helped expose is even though uh, at, at, the, at the higher levels, uh, the spokesmen are saying things like, oh, we just want common sense gun control, and, and they use buzzwords like that. Uh, when you actually talk to the man on the street, what you realize is, you know, no, they, they really want uh, very severe restrictions. Uh, and, you know, they'll, they'll say things like, you know, we want to ban assault weapons. Of course, you ask them, well, what's an assault weapon? Uh, they don't even know. I mean, really, in their mind, it's any gun that looks black on the exterior. So, you know, their <laughs> oh, mind looks right. nasty. Uh, <laughs> you know, and they have no concept of the fact that there's hunting rifles that they may be okay with, which actually have bigger calibers, uh, right. you know, that, that are actually more lethal. Uh, so, it, yeah, uh, it, that, that was the thing that we were, we, we really wanted to show uh, was that, you know, this whole concept of common sense gun, gun control really doesn't make sense. It's not common sense because uh, bad guys don't obey the laws. You know, as you mentioned, uh, it, it's the, the gun-free zones, the fact that, you know, these bad guys target these areas. Uh, you go back to 1950, 98% of the mass shootings that have occurred in this country occur in gun-free zones. And it makes sense. If you have a mm. choice between two schools, uh, one, the teachers uh, are able to have firearms, and, and there are schools uh, in this country where where that is the case or on the other hand you have a school where it you know they have the signs out front gun free zone uh, you know if you're a bad guy which target you know you, you're, you're uh, hell bent on creating damage carnage you know you just want to go out in a you know in a shooting frenzy uh, which school are you going to pick you know obviously you're not going to pick the one that there's potentially going to be people shooting back at you. In fact, uh, we don't know yet of one uh, school where there are teachers carrying firearms where there's been a mass shooting yet. And, and it just stands <laughs> right. to reason. I mean, these bad guys aren't targeting gun shows. They're not targeting police stations. No, they're going to the places where they're going to be the only one with a firearm. And, you know, it's not surprising. Even the police, 81 percent of them support arming teachers. Uh, you know, it's a shame that a politician can't even uh, say, hey, I stand with the police. You know, 81 percent of them uh, say this is a good idea. And I agree. I mean, that's an amazing statistic. And I, I remember uh, you had a great interview. I can't remember it was on a CNN or something. But, and then one of the, uh, uh, the hosts asked you, where did you get that um, statistic? And of course, you got it from this major police, you know, uh, uh, right? Uh, uh, yeah, website. police1.com. Right, right. Yeah, Police1.com, they uh, massive survey. I mean, it really it blows out of the water. Most of the the surveys that uh, you know Gallup and you know uh, 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 any of the other surveys that you see, where they're just interviewing maybe a couple hundred or a few thousand. Uh, Gallup typically does a few thousand, but I mean, this was fifteen thousand police officers uh, who they interviewed uh, to to get this. So I mean, this was a very significant work. Uh, in finding out what the law enforcement community thinks. And um, it, it turns out they're very uh, much in favor of Second Amendment rights. Over 90 percent of police officers support the right of citizens to keep and bear arms. Now, a lot of times it may not seem that way because the appointees, the political appointees in the big cities who get the microphone uh, typically are just, you know, spewing the line that, that the mayor uh, has. Uh, and, you know, we've even seen cases where uh, police chiefs buck that and then, you know, they get fired. Uh, there was such a case in, in D.C. a few years back uh, with Maurice Turner. Uh, but, you know, it, it, so you do see that in some of the, the big cities, you know, the, the, those type of guys will, will take a much different view. Right. I mean, it's, it's, it's so amazing. It's like it's so common sense. It's just ridiculous. But it's amazing how they just stand so vehemently against, 
you know, uh, you know, uh, obviously gun rights, but it's their des- it's like this desire they want to they want to be able to strip people of their rights because in the end the left the leftist party is really the party of totalitarianism it is the party of disarmament it is a party of confiscation it is a party they want to call the right or anybody who voted for Trump fascist fascist you know Giovanni Gentile i mean he was he was the father of fascism, so to speak, and this guy was a, he was an open communist. I mean, he was an, he was like he was part of the communist socialist party. This guy, these people, are uh, blaming the people who vote for Trump as fascists. Meanwhile, they are behaving like fascists, socialists. There, some of them are openly communist. Some of them are waving hammer and sickle flags in these Antifa rallies. I mean, this is crazy. This is happening in America, the greatest country on earth, that where we have the protection, God-given right, and the God-given protection, you know, by the Constitution, Bill of Rights the right to bear arms against, uh, you know, a, a tyrannical government that may, you know, uh, rise up against the people.